Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the opening round of the girls' fifth region tournament here at Central Hardin High School on Terry Buckles Court. I am Bobby Thompson, and as always, joined by the coach, Chris Quarter. And Coach Quarter, last week we had district play. It's, you know, the, the champion and the runner-up move on. Tonight it is win or go home. And tonight's matchup between uh, the number one seed, Elizabethtown Panthers, taking on a – or 17th district champion, uh, Panthers taking on the runner-up in LaRue County. And what do you kind of expect out of tonight's game? Well, LaRue County's got to shoot the ball extremely well. I actually talked to Coach Slavin a little bit yesterday afternoon uh, about the game, and he said, you know, their length is what scares him. They have small guards. Uh, they, they have some good shooters, but they're really small guards. He's afraid they're going to have trouble getting their shots up. He worries about how they're going to handle their pressure. So LaRue's going to have to really – I look for them to shoot a bunch of three-pointers. Um, Mallory really Mallory, – Mallory Williams, I'll get it out in a minute. Very good three-point shooter, Presley Brown. Uh, they're going to lean on them tonight to have big games uh, if they hope to pull up what would, what would be a huge upset. Uh, if you're E-Town, you just you, you got to continue to play the next game. I read in the paper today, you know, they're all looking to put put last year's region defeat and the championship out of their minds. Uh, so I look for them to come out pretty focused tonight with a, with a serious effort. But uh, – this LaRue County team's talented. Like I said, they're not very big, but they do shoot the ball well. They share the ball well. And Coach Slavin does a really good job. I had the opportunity to coach with him at North Harden uh, on the boys' side. And then he was the girls' coach, and I actually took over the girls' team for him when he became the athletic director. So uh, he, he does a really good job. His kids will be ready to play. You talk about Presley Brown. She's averaging 12.7 points a night. Mallory Williams, 12.5 points per ball game. And then Sophie Aiken averaging right at nine points a ball game. Rebounding the ball, Aiken averaging um, just short of 10 at nine and a half. Presley Brown with seven rebounds per night. Long point, long distance shooters for the Hawks. It's going to be Sarah Warren who averages a little over one per ball game. And then Mallory Williams who averages two and a half, shooting 30% from behind the arc. But they will have an uphill battle as they will take on the Elizabethtown Panthers tonight. And for E-Town, it's been a team effort, but then there have been stars within the stars, so to speak, as Whitney Hay has had an outstanding season this year. As they come in with a 30-2 record on the year. Hay averaging 19.8 points per ball game. But then you have Den Tanisha Murphy, who I think she gets 10 points a ball game, but she does so much more on the defensive end, getting her hands in the passing lanes and uh, creating turnovers. Uh, and one of the things we saw or we've seen from this E-Town team is they can play some defense when they need to. And the other night really keeping uh, John Harden out of the paint. Again, the winner of tonight's game will actually advance on to Friday night's first semifinal game as they will take on the Nelson County Cardinals. Cardinals victorious tonight over Campbellsville, 54-29. And uh, Marley Walls and company will move on to Friday night. But as we get here, uh, again, you win or you go home. Um, Lakin Walker, we haven't talked a whole lot about her, but a, a player we've seen kind of grow up in this program and a role player last year now, um, a little bit bigger of a part, but there's still other players that kind of take it. She has the ability to take it outside. We've seen that. We've seen her on the inside. I think one thing with uh, Gaddis and Walker on the inside, they alter shots constantly. And we saw the other night, even when Gaddis uh, gets on the inbound passer, how much trouble that they can give any, uh, any opponent. We're now going to turn it over to our PA announcer for tonight's starting lineups. Court and the fifth region basketball. Your official score, Dr. James Moore. Your official timer, Coach Tyler Jackson. And now, introducing the visitors on the scoreboard, the Lady Hawks of LaRue County, a record of 15 and 16, coached by James Slavin. Starting at guard, 5-4 senior, number zero, Mallory Williams. At guard, Six second senior, number 10, Sarah Warren. At guard, a five six junior, number 12, Kristen Boone. At guard, a five eleven senior, number 23, Chris Liberal. At forward, a five nine. 
Aiken Senior, number five, Sophie Aiken. The home team on the scoreboard, the Lady Panthers of Elizabethtown. Lady Panthers have a record of 30 and 2 and coached by Donnie Sweeney. Starting at guard, a 5'6 senior, number two, Carson Wright. At guard, a 5'3 senior, number three, Tanisha Murphy. At guard, a six-foot sophomore, number five, Whitney Hay. At forward, a 5'9 junior, number 11, Lincoln Walker. And at forward, a six-foot senior, number 15, Morgan Gaddis. Your officials, Mr. David Watkins, Mr. Todd Offrey, and Mr. Frank Lewis. So there we have our starting lineups. Again for LaRue County, it'll be Mallory Williams, Presley Brown, Sarah Warren, Caitlin Eads, and Sophie Aiken. For Elizabethtown, Morgan Gaddis, Lakin Walker, Whitney Hay, Tanija Murphy, and Carson Knight. It'll be Brown and Gaddis to jump at midcourt. E-Town will control this. Tanija Murphy will typically run the point for the Panthers. Drew opens man to man and Walker goes right at it. It's that one, Williams with the rebound. Williams will run the point most of the evening for the Hawks. E-Town opens man to man. We, like I said in the games we've done, haven't seen them play a lot of man. I said Caitlin Eads was starting. I'm sorry, that was actually Kristen Boone. She tries to get it down low. That'll be kicked away by Gaddis. Trying to get it into Aikens. Boone being guarded by Gaddis. Brown out top, spins in the lane, left-handed, shot no good, ball tipped around. Knight unable to bring it in, so they'll stay with the Hawks. Brown to inbound the ball for LaRue. They're gonna get it into Williams. Neetown always goes 2-3 on out of bounds underneath. Oh, and they were going to pass it inside to Aiken. She turned her back. It's going to be an easy steal for Etown. Good pass from Gannis to Hay. That was a really nice look. <laughs> Murphy tips that one in and gets the steal. She'll be fouled as she throws the ball up. So go to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on first Boone. Five. That'll be her first, team's first. first. Her first. Tanija Murphy to the line to shoot two. Tanija Murphy at the line. This will allow E-Town to set up their press. And there's going to be a steal by Knight. High up off the glass, no good. Murphy will track it down for the Panthers. And Walker, she got to the rim, threw it up with her left hand too hard, comes off. Williams with it, gets it up to Brown. Brown muscles nice her tight. way inside. She'll be going to the line. It's going to be on Gaddis. That'll be her first, team's first. Brown. Good change of pace there by Brown. Yeah. 
Brown gets the Hawks on the board. 6.15 to go here in this opening quarter. 3-2, E-Town on top. Whitney Hay pulls up, 18-footer, no good. Aiken had the ball. Be tied up. It'll be LaRue County basketball. Town trying to get to it. Williams will get it over to Brown. She again able to get all the way to the bucket. Makes that one. Gives the lead to the Hawks. And Walker will take one from the top of the key in and out. Brown with the rebound. And again, we've seen her shoot that shot. I haven't seen her make a lot of them, but I think Coach Slavin, if you're LaRue County, you'll, you'll let her take all those you want until she knocks down a couple. Brown with it on the block. Turn around off the glass, no good. Murphy with it. And Gaddis will pull up for three. It's good. Got away with an extra step there, but they normally won't call that on a three-point shooter. Brown back inside, 15-footer high off the glass, no good. Gets her own rebound. Boone tried to go to the baseline. Hey, cut her off there. E-Town going to drop back into his own. Warren, Warren does not get away with an extra step. Knight will pull up for three off the iron. Walker tracks it down for the Panthers. And Murphy going to get all the way to the bucket. It's good. And with that, Coach Slavin going to take a quick 30-second timeout. I'd like to thank HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing for all your needs and your telecommunication needs, physical therapy associates, more personal attention for more effective results. Etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Bluegrass Cellular, most affordable, unlimited plan anywhere. Etown Exterminating, 270-769-6900. And West Point Bank, help us make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. It'll be LaRue County's basketball as we come out of this timeout. Warren shot partially blocked. Oh, that was tipped. That was blocked. It was. I think the official back here has it. And they're going to correct it. Poked out of bounds by the Panthers. Knight are going to get bailed out on this call by Warren. That'll be her first, team second, as Knight had gotten too far underneath the basket. Knight's first trip to the line tonight.
Brown with the rebound. E-Town opened one for four from the line, not typical of an E-Town squad. E-Town goes back man to man. Williams will take a three, and it's good. She shot that right over Hay. Tough shot, knocked it down. Just inside. Aiken with the rebound. They missed Brown a couple of times. They're screening across for her to get her that time. Lou does a good job getting into the lane and pitching out. They're just having trouble getting shots off because of the length of E-Town right now. Gaddis gets the steal. That's going to be a foul on eight. Uh, sorry, on Warren. That'll be her second, team's third. And basically, she just pushed Gaddis yeah. out of bounds. Checking in for the Hawks. Alina Espinoza and Bella Moore. Have a moving screen. It's going to be on Walker. It'll be her first, team second. Missed by Aiken. Knight tips away. Brown will track it down. Brown into the lane and steps back. 15 footer, no good. Gavis with the rebound. Yeah, another good. Brown able to get into the lane. Just didn't get that little 15 footer to go down. Hey, shot. It's good. High arcing three from Whitney Hay. Hey, Brown. now with five points. Brown went underneath that screen. And Williams will take a three. It's off the iron. Gaddis had it, loses it. It goes off of Aiken, so it'll go over to the Panthers. Pass down low to Walker. I don't know how she got that one up above the rim. Her first two points of the night. 13 to seven now the score, E-Town on top. Williams gets it down low to Aiken. Aiken swallowed up by the defense. 17 footer by Williams, no good. Knight with the ball. And Murphy had the right idea trying to get it to Walker. Looked like the ball just came out of her hands before she could complete the pass. 27.3 seconds to go. I did. Brown got into the lane again. One. Uh, it's good. As Espinoza knocks down the three at the buzzer. It cuts the E-Town lead to just three points. 13 to 10 with E-Town on top. 
Hardin County Educational and Community Television Student Production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsors, Brandenburg Telecom, providing for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results with locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, Bardstown, Brandenburg, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at etownapartments.com. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works. Online at bluegrasscellular.com. Etown Exterminating, 270-737-6900. Online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Online at westpointbank.com. Coach, what did you notice after that first quarter? Well, you know, Etown had some opportunities there, a couple, couple of turnovers that kind of uncharacteristic of them, and then one for four from the free throw line. You know, I think so far LaRue's handling their zone pretty well. They've been able to get touches in the paint, whether Etown's zone or man. Brown's done a good job breaking them down off the dribble. It, you know, it, well played first quarter, I thought, really, by both teams. Amir Evans checked in at the break for the Panthers. LaRue switching all these handoffs and exchanges at the top. And Brown causing a lot of trouble for the Panthers. Now Brown missed no. half the season, over half the season with an injury. She's a she's a really good player. At least she's going to be continuing her career at Bellarmine. And there's a steal by Brown. And Walker comes from behind, she'll knock it out of bounds. And that quickly to Niza Murphy back into the ball game for the Panthers. Now we'll get a little 1 3 1 from Etown. Haven't seen this a lot. This will cause LaRue some problems just because of the length. Espin knows on the side, kicks it across to Brown. Brown able to get to the bucket, left hand, no good. Walker gets the rebound. Looks like Aiken's going to pick this one up. It will be on Sophie Aiken. Her first, team's fourth. Sophie Aiken, her first, team fourth. That is 17-footer on the way, rattles out. Brown with another rebound. And Williams for three again, no good. Aiken gets the rebound, sends it right back out to Williams. Now round to Brown. So far, LaRue's got really good patience on their offense. A couple offensive rebounds, kick it back out, and Brown's done a great job just kind of attacking off the dribble and making things happen for her teammates. That foul on Morgan Gaddis, her second. Now E-Town back to more of a 2-3 look. Get it to Aiken inside. Really That's good move. Foul on Walker. That'll be her second. Team's fourth. So now the inside players are the predominant inside players for Elizabethtown with two fouls apiece. Wouldn't be surprised if Sidney Clark getting off the bench pretty soon for Coach Sweeney. 5.56 to go here in the second quarter. And LaRue continues to get in the lane against the zone about whenever they want. And gets that one to fall. And line up for the Lady Hawks, number 12, 
Boone. Boone checks in to the ball game for the Hawks. Murphy to Evans, three on the way. In and out, Aiken with the rebound. Good look for Evans. And now there's miscommunication. Not sure what defense they were in. It's going to be a runner by Brown. Missed, almost got her own rebound. Aiken gets it quickly out to Espinoza. Round to Williams. Boom back to Williams. Brown will step out, she'll take that three. Off the back of the iron, Knight with the rebound. Murphy for three, too strong. Brown with another rebound. Seems like E-Town settling for a lot of three-pointers tonight. Rushing, they're off that. Some quick possessions. Evans gonna get the steal on the inside, gives it up to Murphy. Two on two break. Knight will pull up for a three. Off the back of the iron. Knight hustles in and gets that rebound. Gets her rebound again. Wow. She walks. Get a reminder, we'll be on the air tomorrow night, same time. As it'll be the John Harden Bulldogs taking on Green County Dragons. Espinoza going to get called for steps. <laughs> and I, I guess that's a travel in the eighth region. We've seen that all year, that little Euro step, and that's what she did there. And Here late in the season, we've had to redefine what traveling is. <laughs> yeah. And these guys are from the eighth region. And that's going to be like Shelby County, Oldham County area. Espinoza just slipped and fell. Good pass inside to Evans. Evans more involved in the offense than we've seen her much of the year. Well, they're looking for a spark. You know, they starters, a couple of kids in foul trouble. Evans Murphy backcourt can cause some problems. Boone going to slip down the baseline. That's blocked by Gaddis. Evans going to come out with it. Hay will take a three. Gaddis with the rebound. A little mini hook not able to fall in. Brown throws a bullet up to Boone. Just a a good little idea. Too strong. Good idea. Just a little out in front of her. Emma Bell checks in along with Bella Moore. And now we'll see Sidney Clark come off the bench for the Panthers. Hey, able to get past Brown, not able to hit the runner, and then she goes over the back and picks up the foul. Her first, team's fifth. Again, a good job by Hay, get all the way to the rim, just can't get the little floater to go. In the possession before that, it was Gaddis on the inside, unable to knock it down. So at the three minute mark of this first half of play, just a four point game, 15-11 with E-Town on top. Pass down low to Bell. She'll kick it back outside. I'm going to have a three-second call. That was quick. <laughs> Sophie Aiken checks back in for LaRue County. Lake and Walker back in for Elizabethtown. Murphy. And Knight gets all the way to the basket. She'll be fouled and the bucket's good. Pretty
Kristen Boone will kick, pick up her second, team's fifth. Knight will go to the line to shoot one. Alina Espinoza checks back in for the Hawks. Amir Evans back in for the Panthers. Danger time for LaRue County here. They need a bucket. And a good pass from Espinoza down low to Aiken. Great job breaking the pressure. It's a heck of a pass by Espinoza. Evans able to get into the lane. Her floater no good. Tips around Aiken with the rebound as we hit the two minute mark in this second quarter. Coach Slavin gonna take his second timeout. Well, Brown had lost her shoe and she got it put back on. A reminder to watch our rebroadcast of all local HCC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable Channel 2, Spectrum Communications Channel 184. And you can always search our past broadcasts on our YouTube channel. Just search HCEC TV. Reminder, we'll be back on the air again tomorrow night, 8 o'clock scheduled tip time between the Green County Dragons and the John Harden Bulldogs. Earlier tonight, it was Nelson County over Campbellsville, 54 to 29. So Nelson County advances to Friday semifinals. The winner of this game will take on the Cardinals on Friday night at 6 p.m. Tomorrow night's first game will be between the Bardstown Tigers and the Marion County Knights. Evans not able to get that one off. And that'll be the Rue County basketball. 143 to play in the second quarter. Williams quick three from the corner, no good. Ball knocked around, Knight gathers it in for E-Town. Aiken slow getting back, E-Town playing five on four. Get it down low to Clark. That's her first basket. Oh, stop and play. And then Aiken was slow to get up and get down the court, just checking to make sure she's all right. And that little stoppage works to E-Town's advantage because they can crank up their pressure just a little bit more. Get it up to Moore. Moore tries to go across. Sidney Clark tipped that away, so it'll stay with the Hawks. LaRue attacking their pressure the right way, just the length of E-Town, you know, can make up for some mistakes. And Williams, Espinoza, and Moore are not tall by any stretch. That's going to be a foul on Murphy. She just crashed right into Aiken. Murphy, her first, team sixth. From, for the next minute, LaRue County will be in the bonus. 101 to play here in the second quarter. Brown tries to get inside, now kicks it out. Williams three on the way, it's off the iron. Another good look for Williams, yeah. that's gotta be a foul. Oh my. Alternating possession goes back to the Panthers. As Morgan Gannison, Lake and Walker check back in for the Panthers. Here Coach Sweeney, do you hold for one here after I, putting those I, two I, in the I, game? I'm guessing probably so, just because you don't want to risk them turning back over and having to play defense, those two fouls. But you'll take you'll take something easy here. Oh, Gaddis is wide open under the basket. Oh, that's a charge. Oh, she put her arm out, threw her down. 
That'll be the second on Aiken, team sixth. Not sure how you get a block out of that. Emma Bell checks into the lineup for the Hawks. So there's your answer. The player with two fouls <laughs> goes off the dribble and should have her third foul right now. Got his foot on the line, long two, no good. Walker with the rebound and gets the put back. 15 seconds to go. That's not over and back. I know we hear it all the time. It has to be the ball and the player. And Brown went down the line. The ball never crossed midcourt. 5.4 seconds to go. Espinosa going to come up and trap, get in Murphy's way. Murphy going to get all the way to the basket. It's good. And finishing with four straight points are the Panthers. And they lead at halftime by 11, 24 to 13. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC-TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. Etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Bluegrass Cellular offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. Etown Exterminating, 270-737-6900. And West Point Bank, let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. We'll be back after this short timeout with first half stats and analysis and second half action. Scoring for the Lady Panthers, Knight 3, Murphy 5, Whitney Hay 5. Turn Coca-Cola products into cash for the students of Hardin County Schools. Visit coke.com slash give slash schools on your computer or smartphone. Tap scan code. Scan the code with your camera or enter it manually. When you are finished, click Submit. Help the Hardin County Schools by just scanning your Coca-Cola products. It's as easy as one, two, three. back to our, our quarterfinal game here in the girls fifth region tournament. Our halftime score has Elizabethtown on top 24 to 13 over LaRue County. Some unofficial stats from the first half. First four of the Hawks. Mallory, Reed with, uh, Mallory Williams with three. Elena Espinoza with three. Sophie Aiken with three. And Presley Brown with four. For Elizabethtown, Carson Knight has three. Tanija Murphy with five. Whitney Hay with five, Lakin Walker with four, Sydney Clark has two, Morgan Gaddis with three, and Amir Evans with two. And Coach Porter, what did you notice in the first half and what adjustments well, need to be made? You know, E-Town, I thought they got a little more aggressive offensively there in the last minute, 15 seconds that quarter. And, you know, went out about an 8-0 ride to, to, to finish off the second quarter, but they haven't been real good defensively. LaRue's been able to get kind of what they want offensively. They got into the lane a bunch. Brown did a good job off the dribble, getting in there, kicking out. 
E-Town's just tough to shoot threes over because of their length and because they close out uh, really well. I look for them to crank up their pressure a little more. They did that a little more toward the end of the second quarter. Crank up their pressure uh, and see if they can get this game sped up. And for Elizabeth Town in that first half, after reading down the score, seven different Panthers scored in the ball game. Wow. And they were able to score nine points in that second quarter while they were able to hold the Hawks to just three points. On the court for the Panthers, it'll be Hay, Gaddis, Walker, Knight, and Murphy. On the court for... Carroll, if you come inside and fix this cord. Knight gets that two-pointer to go down. Quickly back up, they get it to Aiken. Her pass goes high and wide. And Aiken's got to go up with that. I mean, she's got a three-foot shot there. Walker gets that one down low. She gets her second bucket. And with a quick timeout, 28-13 the score, 7-19 to go here in this first half of play. Again, sorry for some technical difficulties we're having here with the microphones. Elizabeth Town has come out, gotten four straight points in the first 40 seconds, and for LaRue County, they've not been able to put it into the hole just yet. Coach Slavin in the huddle saying, wake up and get it together. And uh, this is the kind of thing that you really can't afford to do. They were able to keep it Six, seven points, and then at the end of the first half, E-Town scores uh, four straight points and stretches out to 11. Now you open up the second half. E-Town gets it on another 4-0 run to start off, and now all of a sudden you're 15 points behind, and It'll the mountain in front of you just gets bigger and bigger. Snowball on you in a hurry, because LaRue, you know, it, they've had to work hard to score in the half-court set. So these runs are, you know, Just able to get it over. That's gonna be a. Oh, that's that a kick. kick ball. That was a that kick was off ball. That was Murphy's foot. I don't think it was possible to go in no. that direction off of Warren. That was bad. It was almost off by Hay. Got her feet stumbled there. together. And now they'll call it. Turn over back to the Hawks. And he's not going to let you Euro step. That's two times the same official made the same call on a walk of with things that we've seen players do all year. And Brown had it. Good job by Knight to come up, tip it free, but Brown keeps it. Her floater in the lane, no good. Gaddis with the rebound. And E Town as good as any team. And there's a walk by Hay at getting everybody to run down the court. Yeah, they do a good job in transition. Now E-Town going to be allowed to set up this press. Warren will give it up to Brown. Now Williams with it for the roof. Brown sends it out to Williams, right back down to Aiken. Good passing in the round. Now Warren will be open for a three. No good. Gaddis with the rebound. I said Warren, sorry, it was Kristen Boone with the shot. And Hay out of way with another walk. She gets that two point bucket. And Walker steps in front of that pass. It's going to go off. Now they're pointing in opposite directions. 
One official oh. pointed one, and the other official said, I didn't see it. There's no, against the same play, there's no way that it could. Wow. It looked like that was off of Walker, clearly. Hey, he'll take a, deep, a high arcing three, no good. Have a jump ball. The E-Town basketball under their own goal. Warren knocks that one out of bounds. Hay will again in, inbound the ball for the Panthers. And Hay will take a three from the corner. No good. Gaddis with the offensive rebound. And not sure why she brought it back out. Knight throws it up. Walker gets the offensive board and the putback. Gaddis had good position down low when she got it and then just turned, never looked at the basket. But Walker able to get the offensive rebound and the putback. Left-hander by Brown, good on the other end. Her first two points since the first quarter. And that was a carry on Murphy. And Murphy and actually <laughs> ran into Hay and caused the walk. Elena Espinoza and Bella Moore back into the lineup. I'm going to go ahead and go on record here. These guys aren't very good. Knight steps in front of that one and gets another steal. And now it's a 10-0 run. Oh, sorry, a 10-2 run to start this third quarter. Brown gets free. Knight it not able to step in front of her. And again, LaRue does a good job against E-Town's pressure. Knight will take a three. Off the iron. Brown with the rebound. <laughs> hey, a fistful of Brown's jersey. Williams will take a three over the backboard. It'll go over to the Panthers. And she's getting some good looks. They're just, like I said, you're rushing a little bit because you've had those, you've had the link flying at you all night. But there it goes. Four minutes to go here in this third quarter. 17 point lead now for the Panthers. Knight, I mean, sorry, Murphy was cleared out. Anybody? That'll be her Good second. Team first. I believe that's Aiken that took the brunt of that. She's still She's down. Still down. Probably got the breath knocked out of yeah, her. Yeah, it's kind of what it's how she's acting right now. Yeah, Emma Bell comes into the lineup Bell. for the Hawks. Moore for one three one look now. Espinosa good pass down low to Bell. Oh. Ball not able to go in. Really nice pass by Espinosa. And Knight pulls up ten footer no good. Moore with the rebound. Going to be a foul on Hay. That'll be her second, team second. And Aiken back into the lineup for the Hawks. Uh, Brown will run the point as Williams gets a little bit of a break. I slip it inside. Walker gets that steal quickly up to Hay. Oh, she walked again. Hay now with nine points. Yeah. 
He was about to run over Espinoza. She'll pick up her third. Team's third. Amir Evans quickly off the bench for Coach Sweeney. Espinoza, good pass down low to Bell, unable to make it. Gaddis with the rebound. That's that's two really nice feeds Espinoza's made. And now Murphy gets all the way inside. E-Town gets to the bucket and makes it. LaRue County's been able to get to the bucket, not able to and get it's it the link. It's the link. There's a steal. Brown will knock that one out of bounds. It'll stay with the Panthers. Mallory Williams back in for LaRue County. Reminder, tomorrow night we'll be back on the air same time as it'll be the Green County Dragons and the John Harden Bulldogs in the final opening round game of this fifth region tournament. And there's Moore in the way, gets the steal. Murphy pokes that one free, Knight gonna come out with it. Walker, another three from the top of the key. This one's short, tipped around. Murphy gets the rebound, blocked by Brown. And Brown and Murphy have words. That'll be on Murphy, her third, team's fourth. Sidney Clark will come in for Murphy. One fifty-one to go here in this third quarter. Eton settles back into that two-three. They've been able to get Aiken open. Just haven't been able to get her the ball, and that one goes off Espinoza. And turn over to the Panthers. Now flex, some flex. Offense out of E-Town. From the elbow, Evans get that one, but Walker gets the rebound. Now Knight will reset the offense. This is going to be on Espinoza. That'll be her first, team's first. Sarah Warren and Kristen Boone check back in for the Hawks. And the starting five back on the court for the Rue County. That pass goes through the hands of Knight. Williams gets the steal. Brown able to step inside. She'll be fouled and go to the line to shoot. It's going to be on Gaddis. That'll be her third, team's fifth. And again, Brown's been able to do that about any time she wanted. Thirty-eight point one seconds to go. Brown knocks them both down, gets her into double digits with ten. Walker now left open as Aiken went for the steal. Knight, good pass down low to Walker. And Walker with that bucket gets herself to double digits. Twelve seconds to go in this quarter. Brown takes a peek at the clock. And Williams takes a quick three off the iron, and that'll bring 
Our third quarter to a close. E-Town extends their lead now on top, 40 to 19. This is an HCC TV television production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsors. Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. With locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, Bardstown, Brandenburg, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at etownapartments.com. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works. Online at bluegrasscellular.com. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. Online at mugabug.com and West Point Bank. Makes, or sorry, with five locations in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Online at westpointbank.com. Coach Quarter, LaRue County has had success, just not able to put the ball yeah, in the it, bucket. It's just the length. You know, the length of E-Town has altered a lot of the shots, rushed some shots. They've had some really good looks on the three-point line. Williams especially just, just can't get clean looks. LaRue County only scored three points in the second quarter and six points in the third quarter. <laughs> E-Town back to a little 1-3-1 one, one with Hay out at the top. Boone steps in, Let's sling it around. And Gatta steps in front of that one, she gets a steal. Be a kickball, stay with the Hawks. And, and LaRue County's doing all the right things to attack it, that's the thing, it's just, the size and the length, especially in this 1-3-1, there's just not, there's no angles to see. Try to get it in, another kick ball. Warren steps inside, good pass down low to Aiken. Knight will take a three from the left side, no good. Aiken with the rebound. Williams turns three on the way, no good. Boone with that offensive rebound. Williams run, left-handed runner in the lane, no good. That'll be a block on Boone. That'll be her third, team second. Christy third, team second. short from Walker, gets her own rebound. Gives it to Hay. Hay will be found by Brown. It'll be her first, team's third. And Hay will go to the line for the first time tonight to shoot two. Both of those down. And Knight's going to step in front of that one and get the steal. Leaves it behind for Hay. And in two trips, Hay now has 13 points on the evening, and it's a 25 point lead for the Panthers. Six minutes to go in the ball game. Brown inside, misses that one. Boone not able to track it down, and the ball goes over to E-Town. And again, Brown all the way into the lane, just can't get the little runner to go. Bella Moore into the lineup 
for the Hawks. Along with Kelsey Hornback. Motion now, just running some clock. Out of those flex cuts. Hey, he'll take a three off the front of the iron. Williams with the rebound. And that spot's been open all night as Walker and Aiken go to the floor. They'll go over to E-Town. But Aiken's been able to get the ball at the free throw line all night. Knight, 15 footer, no good. Brown up high for that rebound. She's got a bunch of rebounds. We don't, of course, we don't keep rebounds. But it seems like she's got a bunch of rebounds. Round for three. Not in there. Aiken gets the rebound and the putback. Aiken now with seven points on the night. And you just can't let Murphy go left. Murphy's now scored in every quarter tonight. There's her nine points on the evening. Williams for three, doesn't get the roll in there. Gaddis with the rebound. Good pass inside to Walker. Good job by Gaddis handling the ball there. And you can look at it. LaRue's tired, uh, especially Brown. Brown hasn't come out of the game. And Williams not able to get that one to fall. And Knight, oh, wow. that's going to be a walk on Walker. But a right place to shuffle her feet after she got it. Evans and Clark check back in for Elizabethtown. Sarah Warren back in for Rue Kevin. to this three minute mark. And Williams will take that three off Brown with an offensive rebound and gets the put back. But what do we know about Nelson County who obviously the Panthers are going to take on outside of Marley Walls and just do everything. Uh, Marley Walls and a lot of youth I think I talked I, I did I talked to coach Troy Lee Thomas who's the first year head coach over there um, at halftime of this game and he's sitting up there scouting uh, and uh, you know he just just looking at how to you know how to attack the link. He said the same thing that Coach Slavin said about the about the link uh, of E Town and the problems it could cause. So it's you know it's going to be how does E Town guard walls? Do they you know do they do something a little different um, you know to try to contain her because you know she's had some big games this year where she's had 30 or you know mid games in the mid 30s. Um, so it'll be interesting. And Gaddis loses that one, doesn't pay attention. Warren actually gets the steal and the two-pointer. Warren with all five of her points here in this fourth quarter. And it's interesting, and 
I forgot to bring my scores book that I usually use, and I, I got an extra one out of my vehicle. Gaddis puts that one in. But the game before this one in the book is last year's region final, <laughs> Elizabethtown and Nelson County. And in that game, Marley Malls scored 32 points. In the fourth quarter, she made no baskets. She made 13 to 14 free throws. She, uh, she's a, you know, she's, she's a D1 basketball player. You know, th those don't, there's not, people think there's a lot of these, a lot of D1 players on the floor tonight. There's not, uh, you know, and, and so that comes well earned. Uh, and, you know, we'll see, we'll see how, how E-Town, you know, E-Town, I'm going to be honest, E-Town defensively has not been great tonight. People will look at the score and say they've only given up 30 points, but LaRue's got an awful lot of good looks tonight in the lane, uh, open threes, and that'll be something I'm sure Coach Sweeney, after he watches this film, will kind of address because, like I said, LaRue's got, even against the 1-3-1, they've struggled more against the 1-3-1 just because of the length, but against the 2-3, they've, they've got into the lane about whenever they wanted to. One thirty to go here in the ball game. It's been all E-Town from the very beginning. We'll have a tie up there. It'll stay with the Hawks. I'd like to thank our student workers for making tonight's broadcast possible. Camera operators, Sabrina Bergman, Gabe Stolkup, and Bailey Childress, all under the direction of C.J. Carroll. And it'll be Warren for three, not able to get that one to fall in. Aiken with the rebound, kicks out to Williams. Around to Warren, she'll take another one. This one is good. She's got a good looking shot. She, did, she had no fear of shooting it the second time. We're gonna have a foul on Presley Brown. I think Presley Brown, Presley Brown. Presley Brown. Presley she's, ready, she's ready for her night to be over as Coach Slavin sends a sub. But not for Presley Brown. No. He'll do the right thing, get his seniors out here. Just, this, is, this is it for them. They've had a good career. Lauren Pollard checks in. Along with Claire Keller. Emma Moore gets into the ball game. And now Paige Evans, and she takes Brown's spot. At that last time out on the court now for Elizabethtown, it's Amir Evans, Carly Oliver, Aston Dukes, Sydney Clark, and Olivia Yerkeson. She just stiff-armed her. <laughs> Yerkeson for three, no good. Oliver with the rebound. Evans now take a three. That one's long. Tipped away, it's gonna be over the back on Evans. That'll be her first. James six. And for the last 55 seconds, LaRue County will be in the bonus. Mary Wheatley checks into the lineup for E-Town. And Caitlin Eads checks in for LaRue County. And now we're going to go shoot free throws. I believe it's going to be on Dubes. That'll be her first. Team seventh, and Claire Keller bonus. will go to the line to shoot one in the bonus. One in the bonus. Claire Keller. Now she'll get the bonus free throw. Alexandria Presta into the lineup for the Panthers. And the that's going to get Natalie Gentry. Gentry into the lineup. Immediately following the conclusion of this game, we will have naming to the all-tournament team in our first game tonight. Brianti County for the Campbellsville Eagles was named to the team. Dugues down low, gets her own rebound, can't get it back in, gets her own rebound again, too far. Wheatley gets the rebound, no good. Dugues gonna be over the back and we're gonna shoot free throws at the other end. Dugues picks up her second.
Coach uh, Sweeney giving advice that she wouldn't have fouled if she'd made the basket. He's right. <laughs> yep. That one's short. Wheatley gets that rebound. Presta tries to pass down low. It's going to be taken away by Moore. I have a jump ball to be E-Town basketball. 6.9 seconds to go. Yerkeson will take a three. It's long. And Carly Oliver gets the put back. And that will do it. Our final score, 57. 35 as E-Town is victorious. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom providing for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results with locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgeville, Rackley, Brandenburg, Bardstown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at etownapartments.com. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works. Online at bluegrasscellular.com. Etown Exterminating, 270-737-6900. Online at uh, mugabug.com. West Point Bank, with five locations in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Online at westpointbank.com.